Hi, I'm Cash, and welcome to Cash Talks Football. While I break down all the goals scored in the Premier League, I use my over 20 years of coaching experience to give you different insights of um, what some people might not see, different angles um, and opinions from a real football coach who's actually done stuff in the world. So um, right now, I want to point out this gap here. This is happening quite a lot in the Premier League because people don't really understand what they're doing defensively, right? So uh, depending on the system, uh, if you're playing, uh, the, the way that they're playing right now, they're isolating the left and right backs and leaving open this, uh, you'd normally call it the half space. It's what Manchester City like to exploit, right? But this guy needs to track or the midfielder needs to cover and track, right? And nothing that seems to be happening at all in the Premier League. Not just here for Wolves, but over and over, many, many teams. This guy goes out here and he's on an island, he's on his own. So when this ball goes out here, he's basically going to lose. Because what's really supposed to happen, when you're playing a 4-4-2, okay, what you're supposed to do is, here, they've got this player and the idiots call it, we've got a pivot or a defensive midfielder. Really? If that's a defensive midfielder, his job is to cover the gap, which he's not doing. So he's not really a defensive midfielder, is he? He's just standing in front of the back four because, well... That's we're trying to press with three and do that's all nonsense, right? So here's the is the issue. If you're playing with a um a four four two and you've got two midfielders, immediately one midfielder drops in and covers that gap. That's his job in a four four two. As soon as he goes forward, he comes in and covers the gap. It's similar in a four three three. The problem in a four three three, the defensive midfielder is supposed to run and do it, and then someone's supposed to come and fill in for him gap on the his gap on the blind side. None of that happens because they don't really understand the 4-3-3. They only really can coach it when they've got possession and how to pass it out the back and all this other rubbish. But they don't actually know what to do it when they're defending. And this is the problem here. And you can see it being exploited right now. Bosch, you can see the run. He goes straight into this massive half um, space here. You can see how slow this midfielder is to react re reacting to it. Look, how slow he is. Bomb. It's all too late because he doesn't un understand what's going on. And then it's a simple pass into the box and it's a goal. It's that simple. Bosh, Bosh, in the net box. Okay, now we're on to the next goal, guys. Now let's have a little quick look. We've got matchups all over the place here. But let's have a little look at how often... This guy's actually looking at his player. Not bad, not bad. Ball's going out wide here. But watch how poor their concentration levels are. First off, this guy now needs to be coming in and trying to tuck in. Because everyone is 1v1. And that isn't good defensively, right? So as the ball goes out wide here, look, he spots his guy jockeys with him okay he's got there he completely switches off this guy's paying no attention to the game of football he's too busy looking at the ball i don't know maybe he's got some special magical powers he's going to stick out a leg go go gadget legs take the ball from this guy and run down i don't know i don't why are you staring at him why aren't you looking to see what else you can fix if you find yourself in this position as a footballer and you're trying to wonder you you know maybe you're in your sunday league and you want to be a little bit better what you might want to just try to do is have a little look around and see if you can fix a problem that you can see arising right now you can see arising that there's three people on the back post and there's 1v1 1v1 and this guy's going to be unmarked so let's let's move this forward a bit bosh beats his man does a great job now is well that little half space we we're talking about in the um, other goal you can see it again here but it's ever so tiny right you can see this guy stepped up and left that extra little bit of gap there it's ever so tiny this time but it's still there right so he exploits this by cutting in doing his little job first of all this is hilarious he goes to look at his player and his player immediately runs behind him and he doesn't even notice he looks at him what runs behind him and he's just like ah, i don't know where he's gone mate ah he don't, he, i don't need to mark him don't worry about me so um as the ball goes back in through here it's a little chip look at mr matey blog standing here on the penalty spot doing absolutely nothing he all he was doing was watching the football he's, he might as well be sitting over here Sit in the stand over here, right there. That's where he might as well be sitting. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Because he has done absolutely nothing. All he's done is like, do, 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 stood here, completely missed this player unmarked, completely missed this player unmarked, and all of a sudden, dosh, they've got it in the, into the net box. Here's one other interesting thing. Look at the keeper. Well, the keeper's too far out. One of the things as a keeper, you don't really want to go past your post, right? There's your little post. You don't want to, let's draw, draw that line a little bit better. You don't want to be going past that line there. Yeah, and the line is right, because you can see that, that, that yeah, you, you see he's out past his own goal. So that, the problem is, he's left it open. He could be stood here and doing the same thing, because he can't be beaten there on the near post, because he's right next to it, but he's shut off the angle. God knows why the keeper's over here having a picnic. Uh, he's, look, look, there's just nothing in the goal. Look, 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 look. I don't think he realises his job is to be standing about it. Well, not here, but, you know, my drawing's awful. Uh, about there, yep. Yeah, that's where he should be stood, about there. Let's get on to the next goal. Of course, we've got a VAR controversial decision coming up, but I'm going to show you in real time what's actually happened and why the referee's given it. Okay, and if you've played football, you know exactly what's going to happen as soon as I say there's going to be a penalty after this challenge. Let's have a little look. Here we go. Bosh, bosh, bosh. The ball comes forward. There we go. 
put a little bit in front of him. He's, they're going for a 50-50. Watch what happens next, right? Dosh. Goes up, gets the ball cleanly. Clean tackle. Guy rolls around on the ground. He's looking for a free kick and he doesn't get one. But was it a hard challenge? No, not really. But in today's standard, it might as well be like a skyscraper coming down. I mean, it was you know horrific. It was awful. Uh, but that's what the, is in that ref's head right now. He just saw that and oh well, I can't really give that because it doesn't. Uh, he won the ball cleanly, but it was a bit of a horrific challenge. So all of a sudden, that human being right now is going, I'm going to give a foul. I've got to give a foul. Well, how am I not giving a foul? Remember, think about how quick that that action happened and what you would be thinking as a ref. You go, oh, modern day ref, you know, in the Premier League with a million eyes watching him. And then all of a sudden, Bosch, in he goes right up here. Now we've got a ball uh, passed in, running into the box, into that massive gap. Oh, funny, it's the same gap that was open last time that the midfielders don't cover because we don't know how. Right, Bosch, in he goes. Here comes the collision. Here it comes. Here it comes. Trip, fall. There we go. There's the collision. So now the ref's mind is, okay, well, that's a coming together. Is it really a penalty? No, we're going to show you that in a second. But in the ref's mind, he just saw that challenge a second ago, and that's where he's going, and that's why he's blown up there. So obviously, that's what's happening. Anyone who's watched or played the game knows exactly that's what the ref's doing. He was like, well, maybe I should have given the foul back there earlier, but now I'm going to give this one instead. Gives a penalty. Let's have a look at the actual coming together. Here's the coming together. Look, Dorsey touches the ball and then he touches the player. Let's just show you that ever so slightly again. Touches the ball and he really doesn't touch the player. Like, that player falls over. Ugh, it's just awful. Uh, to me, the um, Fulham player is cheating there. And, like, that's just disgraceful. You shouldn't be going down for things like that. He does. He gets the penalty and then he kicks it into the net. Here he is, kicking it into the net box. Boss, boss, boss. Comes up, steps up, slots it to the corner. Roll, actually, rolls into the corner. To be honest, and uh, gets himself a goal from a cheating teammate. But let's get on to the next goal. Don't worry, the next one's a VAR, well, sorry, a penalty decision again, don't worry. Now, I didn't actually think that while I was watching it real time that it was a valid penalty, but then when I watched this angle, I can clearly see that it is a penalty, right? And this is why. This little wee man here, we're going to call him Hair Bun right now, is Hair Bun. He's coming in, in, in to tackle this guy. That's the thing he's supposed to be getting. It's called the football. He's not quite sure that that's the thing he's supposed to be getting because we can find out. Watch what he does with his arms. Look, bump. There's the ball. Nowhere near it. Hasn't got it. And he shoves him out of the way. Doesn't even try to make contact with the ball. Just genuinely shoves this guy out of the way. Bosh. And does him and puts him on the floor. And you can see that the guy's trying to... Like, um, here's the difference with that Fulham guy going down. Uh, it was... Uh, he, he was acting because he hasn't put his hands out in front of him to stop himself fall because he knew he was falling down. His knees broke the fall. Does that make sense? Like when you're tripping and you're falling, you landed on your knees, then your hands. This guy, look, he doesn't know he's landing on his knees, even though he is. You can see he's in the falling position. He's panicking and putting his hands out first because he's not expecting to go down because he's been clattered by this guy, which he has been. Let's look at the penalty. God knows how many penalties there have been in the Premier League this year. It's got to be an all-time record. It has to be. It has to be. But here we go. We've got another one. Steps it up. Slashes it into the net box. Gets himself a goal. Now, it's interesting because the Wolves managers, like, they got done in the United game at the start of the season when Nana clattered one of the uh, Wolves players and didn't get the penalty. They've been done four, uh, like um, on the bad end of uh, four times. And apparently, like, they keep getting, uh, you know... Uh, Apologies from the uh, PJMOL or whatever it's called, the Premier League Referees Associations of Nonsense. And um, the Referees Associations of Nonsense, sorry. Um, but it doesn't do them any good because they just keep losing points over it. And let's get on to the next goal to show you why. Of course, in real time, the referee doesn't really even think it's a penalty, but don't worry, cheating VARs here to make sure that he gives him one. Now, watch this. Watch this as we roll this forward. Here's the guy. He's got possession of the football. He's going to get it nicked away from him as he comes in. Dosh. And this guy just throws himself to the ground. Absolutely throws himself to the ground. There's no need for it, but he does it, and he gets a penalty from VAR. So it goes to VAR, and you have a little look at the old uh, the rubbish here. Look, you can see clearly this guy's going to touch it. Oh, and he pulls his foot back. You know, so, I know, but he collapses like a house of cards on the ground. And uh, he could have carried on, but doesn't. He takes a dive, and the ref gives the penalty. I think it's disgraceful. If I was in the Premier League, I'd ban this guy for six games for diving like that. I mean, it's just pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. But they gave him a penalty for it. Yeah, modern game, guys. Modern game. Same guy stepping up to kick it into the net box. Up he comes, up he comes. And it's not as good as the last one. He actually smashes it into the corner. The last one, he really sat the keeper down and put past it into the corner. That one, he drills it in. Got to give him some credit on that, though. Take some balls to step up and do two penalties in one game, even if I don't agree with either of them as penalties. But there we go. And I'll see you next time, guys, on Cash Talks Football. <laughs>